This episode of Brokerage in Motion is brought to you by Mass Mutual Strategic Distributors. Hello and welcome to Brokerage in Motion, your one-stop guide for everything happening in independent distribution. I'm Katie Failinger. In industry headlines, AIG has new plans to serve high net worth and ultra high net worth markets. The company recently announced it's working together with Stone Point Capital, a private equity firm, to create an independent managing general agency to serve the high-end market. With the move, AIG's private client group will rebrand as Private Client Select Insurance Services, and operate under the company's independent MGA platform. Meanwhile, a federal court struck down the Labor Department's guidance that declared rollover advice fiduciary advice. The Florida court ruled that the department's interpretation of the five-part test setting out who qualifies as a fiduciary under the Employee Retirement Income Security Act was arbitrary and capricious. The case was brought by the American Securities Association last year. Consumer advocates say the case was wrongly decided and the Labor Department will likely appeal the decision. In other news, Prosperity Group Holdings has announced it's withdrawing its proposal to acquire American equity, with the firm noting it has no interest in continuing to pursue its proposed transaction. American equity reviewed and rejected the unsolicited non-binding proposal twice prior to Prosperity releasing its withdrawal statement. The company had proposed an acquisition of American equity for $45 per share. Meanwhile, Pacific Life has announced a new five-year partnership with the PGA Tour as its official life insurance sponsor. The company plans to amplify its brand via broadcast and online advertising through multiple tour-owned media platforms. It will also support various tournaments and engage with PGA Tour players for added brand awareness. Turning now to a discussion on what lies ahead for Nailba in 2023. Here's Dan LeBert. Hey everybody, Dan LeBert here, uh, President of Brokerage for the Nelva Community and Executive Vice President at Fonseca. So welcome to Brokerage in Motion with our 2023 Chair of the Brokerage Community, Ms. Tori Van Dusen Rose. She is Principal and Chief Operating Officer at BBS. We're just going to dive right into it. So Tori, how is your time being as the Nelva Chair so far? I mean, we had a great Nelva Annual Meeting last year and you had a pretty rousing speech to get people excited. So let's just talk about that. Yeah, thanks, Dan. And welcome, everybody. Um, Oh, gosh, you know, I feel like the year it's flying by already. Um, We're getting ready to select some new board members for NALBA. So very excited about that. I really want to focus on um, solidifying the advisory board for the future and make sure that we've got people that are willing, able, and committed to give their time and volunteer for now, but to continue to make it what it has been. Over the years, there have been so many people that have given their time and intellectual knowledge to help keep NALBA going and help keep NALBA as great as it is. And so we want to make sure that we continue that momentum. So if you haven't already and you're interested in volunteering, please reach out. We've got Um, board selection, like I said, going on right now, the application is online. And then, um, Dan, we've talked about getting uh, the committee structure back together to um, spearhead some various uh, tasks or projects or ongoing concerns like membership. Um, So we want to make sure that we get some volunteers that we can help out to fill some of those slots. Well, it's, it's exciting, Tori, because now you'll have some of our viewers and we all know them, they're going to be looking at this saying, well, I already served. Well, guess what? We're in a new organization. The rules have changed. You can now serve again. Um, and that committee structure is just so valuable to wanting to get involved and address some of the issues that that benefit brokerage, you know, the professional development side of things. And obviously, we've had some su- huge success in that that we'll talk about. But, you know, just having making sure that brokerage has a voice. We're already at the table. Heck, we're we, we have more than half the table. But more brokerage can more brokerage professionals can get involved whether you've served in the past or thinking about serving in the future we need everyone together to, to collectively look like where we're going not just where we've been um and that membership piece is huge right i mean we have to grow members so what are your thoughts on that like what are your thoughts on on membership um are you are you are you feeling it tori i mean is there is there great value <laughs> there i know we were just talking offline about some of the great things that Fonseca brings us but of course there's still the nelba brokerage member benefits. Yeah, for sure. I mean, all the same great benefits that we've had in the past. So very excited about that. 
I believe it's the E&O program, um, access to the case management certification program, um, just all kinds of things. But then that added benefit of the pro membership through Finseca, which is so great. I mean, I get pushed to me on a daily basis and you can choose not to, um, but I get the Finseca daily. And then there's also the Finseca flash, which really keep you updated on what's going on in government in the legislative yes. world as it relates to our industry and whether you want to read it or not, um, that's your choice. But at least you've got the headlines. At least you've got a taste of what's going on. But if you want to dive deeper and figure out what is going to affect your business in the coming year, it's so important and critical to get that information. And Finseca has always done such a terrific job in feeding that information to its members. Right. Be, be, it's always been around, around best in class advocacy, but there, I mean, there's so much more, right? There's the, there's the professional development that we discussed. There's the professional development for the brokerage community that we'll talk, but there's also the Finseca professional development that, you know, talks about, you know, digital marketing and growing your high net worth clients and the other, the other conferences. Oh gosh, we can't, we can't forget the Nelba annual meeting, right? That's part of your membership. Nothing has changed there. So there are just more opportunities to get involved, uh, everything from advanced markets to the career side, to the brokerage side. And I have to say, just to mention a couple of the conventions that you mentioned, the um, advanced markets meeting conference that Finseca previously AALU has put on. Um, I've been to that conference several times, just really a terrific conference, great breakout sessions, great main stage speakers. But the key about that meeting is being able to go to Capitol Hill with some of your business associates and really express to the lawmakers what our business is all about, what we do. You'd be surprised. Many of them have never even heard of brokerage in the insurance sector. Yeah. And it's really important to get that message out. And nothing is more rewarding than sitting face to face with a representative across the desk and telling them how important our business is for middle America. Well, we, we, we've talked about that for years on Nelva, right? You know, the importance of we protect widows and children, and that is financial security for all. There's 100 new members uh, of, of, of uh, the House and Senate this, 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 this term, and they need to be educated. They all don't know what we do. They all think we should have life insurance, but how we get it and how valuable it is, maybe the message just doesn't resonate with them. But unless, unless our members are there sitting across the table and sharing it, um, how else will they know? So it's our job to, to educate, to ed educate um, everyone about it. But and again, that's key, Dan, you know, like you said, sorry to interrupt. No, fine. Yeah. A hundred new members. So if you've done this before, you know, the drill, please continue to come. We need that message delivered year in and year out. And even throughout the year, corresponding directly with your representative, local representatives. So I think it's really important. That's huge for our for our industry. Yeah. Consumers need choice and, and, and brokerage offers them a lot of different choices. And, and that's how we have to, to share that. They just don't understand the message. They, there's a lot of robotic like process around it. Unless we're there saying, A, this is how many people I employ. B, this is how many people I impact. And let me tell you about the time where that, that unfortunate incident of deliver, having to deliver a payment to a widow and their child and the, giving them the financial security they have moving forward because of this noble profession. So that's just different than like Nelva has always been a part of that, but now we have this opportunity to be part of a bigger, stronger collective voice. Um, and that's a big value. And you know what, Tori, we talked about this as well. Nobody, not everyone's interested in advocacy until it impacts you. Yeah. And sadly, it's usually impacting you in a negative way where you pick up the phone and say, what's my association doing about this? And that's why we want to revive the committee structure. That's why we want to revive new uh, new board members and, and past board members to come back because we need your support. We need your involvement. We need your engagement. And that's how we grow together under the Vinseca umbrella. Um, all right. It's not Let's a get huge, I just want to add, it's not a huge time commitment. And um, the more involved in the industry you are, the better suited you are to sit on this advisory board. Not that you have to be totally involved, but it's really helpful to raise awareness to the board um, as to what's going on so that we can deal with those issues and try and put out messaging to the to our membership um, as to what's going on and how we're going to yeah. Well, all the excuses are gone now, Tori, right? A few years ago it was, well, nobody attends the annual meeting. Well, that's changed. Well, nobody goes in the exhibit hall. Well, that's that's sold out. 
well, what's the value do I get in my NELPA membership? Well, the insurance and about what we're and what we're about to talk about is there. Um, and now we add advocacy to the mix. It is, you know, a professional belongs to a professional association. And, and now we feel pretty strong about the value prop. And it's going to grow and it's going to evolve. But speaking of the value prop, one of the most things that I'm excited about, and you know I am, and I know you are as well, because you pretty much drove the uh, success of it, uh, is the NELBA Case Manager Certification Program. Um, barely barely just over two years old, and, and it's been quite the success. I'll let you share the news. You want to share it on the numbers? Yes, yes, I do. So we've got um, over 500 professionals that have registered into the program. Um, we've got 300 plus that have earned their certification. And my huge um, legacy that I want to leave as chairman is to a update all the current modules and make sure that we've got the most current information for all of our case managers that are going through that certification. And then the addition of a couple of additional advanced modules, one that came up from membership was we really want an in-depth licensing module. So that's on the docket. And then also an advanced underwriting module. We all know underwriting is so critically important to, to your business, to our business. Um, and we want to make sure that those that are spearheading underwriting issues within your agencies can do it intelligently and know what to look for for credits and what to look for for debits or understanding the debits and uh, really driving that case with the carrier to make sure that your clients are getting the best outcome. Sorry, imagine that, right? Uh, trailblazing a path here. It's barely two years old and we're already updating it. I mean, that just shows you the difference of where we were in the past with Nelva, where we'd put out a phenomenal white, you know, resource book or manual, and then we'd have to wait because there was a big investment. It's yeah. massive uh, amounts of time, and here we are being nimble. Already have a great off of five hundred plus people. But I'll tell you what the the other measurement that I love, and we shared this at the annual meeting. We, you know, we we could say that we quietly ask some agencies to, you know, get their case managers involved and then and then measure it, right? We want to we want to be confident about the data, but when when one principal came to us and said, "Hey, I've reduced my cycle time by eight days, and I increased my placement rate by X." Now the X is proprietary, so we're going to leave that proprietary. But eight days, you have eight more days back in your schedule to do to, to do whatever, but hopefully you even even uh, have more applications uh, process. So that's how we close the gap uh, on the uninsured and underinsured. And, and uh, thankfully, Nelva is leading the charge on that. And now Nelva Fonseca, we have the resources and we're investing back into the case manager program. So, um, all right, Tori, big close here. Um, some of our members, of course, will all see each other on the IMO tour of 2023. <laughs> But like, where will the NELBA members see you next if they're not part of uh, your IMO affiliation or on a carrier advisory board, which you do several of? <laughs> well, I hope I'll be able to see many of you throughout um, the travel season with various industry meetings, conventions, et cetera. Um, that's usually where I can sit down and, and uh, break some bread or have a drink and, and chat about our various businesses. But don't forget the annual meeting. It's coming up in November. It's in Hollywood, Florida. Perfect opportunity to bring the kids if you want to take tag on some extra time to go to Orlando or the various parks in the area. Um, November 1st through the 3rd, and it's at the Diplomat Hotel, which is one of my favorite NALBA locations. So I hope to see you all there, and thank you for your time today. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or to Dan or to any of the other board members. And I look forward to seeing your applications for board service or hand up for committee appointment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of Florida. You know, it's America's playground, right? You have Orlando in one direction. We have Miami in the other direction. Hollywood, Florida is well positioned to get to both. I will tell you, and we, we discussed this from a board level, that the Diplomat Hotel is always packed. Like we always... You know, unlike some other places where we have challenges on the amount of rooms, we don't have that challenge at, at the Diplomat. So it's one of these things where as soon as reservation, I'm sorry, registration opens, which will be this summer, register and get your room because there was one point in time, the last time we were there, it's been some time with COVID in the middle. I think we were at 103 or 104% of our block was already sold out. Um, so 
Great hotel, great property, lots of fun, lots of water, Miami going south, Orlando going north. Great opportunities to come and be with our, our, our Nelba family. We are going to take just a short break. Don't go anywhere. There's more Brokerage in Motion coming up. What happens if you ever need to miss work for a long period of time? Why would I miss work? I don't know. You sprain your ankle, throw out your back. Get hit by a school bus. Or a regular bus. Get kicked by a horse. Fall off a ladder. Bathtub mishap. Polio. Boating accident. Stuck by a fork. Rabies. Well, scurvy. Talk to us about disability income insurance today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. Mass Mutual. Right now, our IDY segment, where we shine a spotlight on the people in the profession and learn their why, why they got into the business, and what drives them. This is a first for Brokerage in Motion, an IDY that features not one, but two Nailba members, and a family and business legacy. Take a look. Mellow Rock has Daryl Hall and John Oates. Superheroes have Batman and Robin. Brokerage has its own dynamic duo, the Van Dusens. That yin and yang, that wonderful element of working together by having each other's back. Siblings Tori Van Dusen Roos and Chip Van Dusen agree. They complement each other, which has only helped them succeed as the principals of Diversified Brokerage Services. Tori brings stability and eye towards detail. She also brings a very high level of compassion. I lose sight of that sometimes. And I think that's really an important piece that she brings to the table that helps kind of keep me a little bit in check. He's become such an eloquent speaker and um, very quick thinking on his feet. Me, not so much. You know, he is a visionary. Chip is really terrific about analyzing the kind of risks that we should be taking and perhaps the ones we should pass on. That importance of taking risks. It's one of many lessons the brother-sister team learned from their father, George Van Dusen III, who started DBS in the late 60s. Another lesson? Know what you're good at and what you're not. And it's all about team building. But identify exactly what your weaknesses are and find people to surround you to help you support you with them and then empower them. We surround ourselves and hire really intelligent individuals and the individuals who have greater skill sets um, that are different than ours that can really help us continue to grow. Now more than 50 years in business, DBS is one of the largest BGAs in the country made stronger by George's commitment to give back. And he taught his children, to whom much has been given, much is expected. That was a, a big model that he instilled in both of us. And then we watched it, right? So he lived it. Confidence call him and talk to him on the phone about what's going on and the challenges. And this is when brokerage was really kind of starting. And the importance uh, and reliance that, that others within our profession had on him and his willingness to give of that time was a great example for both Tori and I to see. And now Chip and Tori are setting the example. Among numerous volunteer roles with IMO boards, FinSeca committees, carrier advisory councils, and others, like their dad, they've both now held Nailba board chair positions. This is legacy being created before our very eyes. Tori, what does that feel like? Ooh, overwhelming. <laughs> a motion that carried over into her chairman's address at Nailba 41. Not only did Tori face her nerves around public speaking head on. For those of you who know me well, you know that I've actually been dreading this moment for the past five years. <laughs> but she also felt the support of her family in the room, all her family. I really felt the warmth of that Nalva community um, just pushing me along and guiding me and probably a little bit of my dad too. It has been stated that we must continue to look forward but never forget where we have been. The legacy of a successful multi-generational family-run business. Tori and Chip are honored they can be an example. Gratitude for the opportunities that have come our way. Uh, pride in what the organization has become, pride in what my sister has become in a, as a, an amazing female executive. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that this business would be so rewarding. And a lot of that comes through the relationships that I have fostered over the years. Hopefully there are people that are going to watch and listen to this to get fired up and get excited about, you know, continuing to follow the legacy of, of Nalva. 
And joining me now is the president of Brokerage and executive vice president for Finseca, Dan Labert. Dan, it's good to see you. Good to see you as always. All right. So since Nailba has merged with Finseca, there is a new membership model. Talk about that. How's it going? It's going well. We're actually off and running for 2023 with our largest increase of membership uh, in recent time, uh, maybe in, in all of time. And part of that, though, is it's it's not fuzzy math. We have switched from a agency model to an individual model. And, you know, there are a lot of reasons why we had to do that. And people had questions about that. But it's really comes down to the individual and the benefits are designed for them. But in this case, the brokerage community is off and running. Uh, there's already 400 plus members, which is already twice as much as the agencies that we've had in the past. Um, so it's really taken off well. It's just, you know, there's a learning curve. People are so used to Nelba just being in their budget and where's my invoice and I want to rejoin. And of course, we moved the process to online and you have to be a member of Finseca and a member, you know, to then apply for the brokerage community. So it all makes sense. It's it's a simple change, but you know, we have to keep you know sending that message over and over. But so far, the brokerage community is off and running with individual membership, and we couldn't be more excited. Now, you've mentioned that word community a couple of times here. In other words, the Nailba brokerage community, right? So can you break that down a little bit more? What does that really mean? Yes. Um, thank you for calling me out on that, because that is a new term that is um, still being processed on a lot of the brokerage side. But Finseca, imagine it as a very nice, attractive purple umbrella in the sky. It's a great color. Who doesn't love purple? It was a big fan of Prince, right? And <laughs> we are all under that umbrella. And as you'll see on the screen, there are different communities, right? So there's the career development leadership community, right? There's the women's impact program. There's Nelba, there's Forum 400, and there's advanced markets. Now, if you translate all of that career development leadership community, that was the group formerly known as Gamma right, with the very exciting conference, LAMP. The Women's Impact Program, off and running with the biggest membership gains. Nobody else is doing it at this level, but that is a new community that we formed collectively with all the other associates who came in because, candidly, it's been far too long, and the numbers show that, and there's super high engagement, and we're really excited about it. Of course, there's NELBA, right? There's Forum 400, um, Forum 400, if you don't know about that, there, well, let's just put it this way. That is where the best of the best go. There is a production requirement to be a member of Forum 400, and you have to be approved for membership. And it's a pretty in-depth process, but that's when that's what happens when you put together in the room, you know, billions of dollars of, of, um, uh, of first-year premium and how to sustain that. And then, of course, there's the Advanced Markets Conference. Now, we've discussed... Uh, Throughout time of, of the Advanced Markets Conference for as part of Finseca, some of Nelba plays in the Advanced Markets space. So the Advanced Markets is the obviously the Advanced Markets Conference, the Washington Report, um, also you know a, a community that's formerly known as AALU. So all of these communities, right? Who are the people in your neighborhood? Well, I just went through who all they all who they all are and how we all get along because it's it's a different distribution channel. Uh, for some of the products. So we avoid channel conflict. We have open communication. Each community has its own board of advisors that leads up to that Finseca purple umbrella with the board of directors. So this is what we mean when we say community. You become a member of Finseca, again, that individual membership model. And then once you have your membership in Finseca, you can then apply to which community fits you best. Kind of like if you go off to college or university and you want to go into the Greek system, or you want to go into the theater, or you want to go into the student government, or you want to play athletics. We have a home for everybody. And that's what makes Finseca model and this community model so fantastic and ahead of the curve. I'm curious how everything sort of works together in that regard. So how do members of not only the Nailba brokerage community, but all these other communities benefit? Can you offer some more detail on the associated value? Sure. Um, right. And that, that's a great question because the the value around each community is related to the work that the his or her, that prof professional of the space they're in. So for, for some, you know, you'll want to go into the Nelva mm -hmm. brokerage community. And let's just focus on that since this is brokerage in motion. So we talked about you join Finseca, right? That's the requirement. You have to you have you have to get approved by admissions and into the university that is now Finseca. And you are automatically at the pro membership level. 
right? So there are new benefits there. Um, now obviously, the FinSeca daily, the FinSeca policy flat, uh, the FinSeca policy updates, the FinSeca flash, which is you know breaking news alerts on major policy news. Of course, then there's professional development that comes at that pro level membership. Um, you know, just various marketing techniques, client facing pieces, uh, white papers, you name it. Um, but this is that's the base level. So you're in FinSeca. And then you apply to be part of the brokerage community. And, you know, that's a that's a very simple process online. You can go through it and join FinSec at the exact same time and then apply for the brokerage community. You're in, you're out. It's not quite Amazon, but it is fairly quick. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you get the benefits from the brokerage community. So, and there, there, are, benef- there are high-end benefits or plus-up benefits, if you want to call them that, in other communities. But focusing on Nelba, it's everything that Nelba was known for and is known for. The annual meeting registration included in membership, the brokerage desk reference resource manual and other white papers, the discounted case manager certification. And there's, of course, there's other NALBA member benefits, the E&O insurance. That's a big one. But for $1,980, $1,980, the first time that we've had an increase on the brokerage side of things in many, many years, it's always been $1,680. But now you pick up a whole other level of membership benefits. You're a member of Fonseca and you're part of the brokerage community. Now, that's not uniform across all the other other communities. There are different. There's different value and different price points for the other communities based upon what you know the value prop is. But that is the way you join Finseca, right? You be you you get approval through admissions and you pick your community, and the benefits have doubled from just your standalone Nelva membership. So um, it helps to be part of a community and know who are the people in your neighborhood. All great information as always, Dan, thank you so much. Awesome, thank you. That is going to do it for this episode of Brokerage in Motion. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.